Welcome to our video on Goodnight 6, where we will show you how to add text and images to Lock Tree Family History pages. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of using Goodnight 6 to enhance your family history pages. Are you ready to dive in and start adding text and images to your pages? You are? Well, let's get started. Now we're going to look at adding text to your Locktree pages with GoodNote 6. So we've already added a page. See the link for the video above. And now we're going to go up to the top. If you don't see these, you click on the little pencil and then you hit on the T for text. Make sure all these are right, the size you want and the style you want. And we start adding the text. All right, you click where you want and you start typing. Now I've got my ancestry page up, so I want to put That's the his name and we'll put his birth place of birth you just click where you want to start typing Okay, I'm going to show you how to move it. So you click on a box and you just click on where those little strokes are and then you click on it and you don't let go and then you just move it and then you let go. So we click on again, don't let go with the mouse or your finger on the pad and you just move it like that and you just keep adding I'll finish it off and I'll show you okay I'm going to show you what to do if you've made a mistake so I want to just move this over a bit so I click on it and I just drag it across now I've got a comma here which I don't want so I click and just click in it delete now I'm going to show you how to add an image image of Robert that I want to put in it's on my ancestry so I'll just go and get it now I've downloaded that picture to my desktop so what I do is just make sure that we're on image and then just click on it and drag it across to where I want it click on it don't take your finger off the mouse or the picture when you're on your iPad then release right click and you'll see crop and it comes up with this little box and we just move the blue dots to where you want I think that'll fit and done and we click and move again uh, a little bit big but that'll do it's a nice picture and then we'll click 
click off and we'll go find another feature okay I've downloaded that to my desktop so I'll just click on the photo again keep clicking and then drag it to where I want it right click crop and then this is a photo of him and his wife so I want just a little bit I'll keep that proportions And I'll move it in moving it in see this blue spot here you just drag it in like that just keep moving until you get it to where you want and that should be fine it doesn't have to be in the little squares you can be out of the squares I'll continue doing the writing and then I'll show you what it looks like in the end. And there you have it, finished page. Also I want to show you how to add from up here. You click on the image, it brings up all your photos here. You click, you click where you want to put a picture. Brings up all your photos. You can be album or you can search for a photo there or you go insert from and it'll take you to um, where you can find your photos with the ones you want and then you just add the photo just like I did before next I want to show you also how to add a document documents are inserted the same way as a photo so I've already put in a blank marriage page and I have a marriage certificate so I'm just got it on my desktop so I will click on it and drag it across now that is the first page Victorian old certificates a very large so I'm just clicking on it and leaving my finger on it and dragging till it's the size I want and I'll go and add another page to put the other one so you go duplicate and it does two of course so I want to get rid of this one so I click on it and there's a little X up the top click I'll get the other side of the certificate so I'll go to my desktop and I click on the desktop and the document and I drag it across put it where I want it and on the blue dot just make it bigger if you want uh, you can put enlargement of that area so I'll bring across that photo again right click crop and we'll just have that bit so we can see it a bit more like that and we go done and we can move it down here and make it bigger and then we're going to draw a box around it so we go to shapes make sure this is clicked on snap to other shapes and I want a red box and I want it thick okay so I'm going to hold my finger down and just go up to the top 
and it'll snap, snap into a square and that will highlight the area so just say I wanted a circle and it will snap into a circle okay so I'll undo that and there you have it adding a document what did you think leave a comment below thanks for watching and remember to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that bell for more notifications for new videos until next time goodbye